And this I got on Walmart for about $200. 2000 watt grill, griddle, mini griddle. It's the smallest they have. You put it on and off and pretty much 30 minutes before you get to 200. But after 200, around 200, 3 and 250, you can start cooking. Stainless steel, very easy maintenance. That's why I like this. That's why I like it for the, the large cooking that I have to do. If I have to do a lot of cooking, then cook this. Make sure that everything is uh, cool and then I can put that in the freezer. So this is a huge freezer actually 12 volt freezer so everything kind of is working out together i got some i'm not gonna say anything about this it was like 3.4 beer and the other appliance that i think it's uh, it's amazing like it's the best buy like you, know, you cannot don't you can buy this in many brands but this is the one you want 1500 watts and uh yesterday i put it i put it on the the first level which is 750 and then after that, uh, yesterday, last night it was uh, at 7:50. The heater started twice just to, re you know, get the temperature better. And it was so cold last night. I was thinking it was like zero degrees outside. And at level two, we were at 1500 uh, watts. At 17 degrees max, it was 13 degrees by the door basically, or five minus or zero, really cold, like zero degrees Celsius yesterday. And the whole place was warm. And the heater never started and this is another thing if you don't know anything about 3500 btus heater furnace you're gonna go through gas like her mother hell <laughs> so i'm saying if you have a if you need it in the morning because <laughs> there's no more battery because this runs on a battery and the fridge runs on a battery you don't have anything but you can sleep in, in comfort, just with a little bit of blankets. You don't need much, but when it's like minus 10 outside, um, if the heater's off, if you have this big wool blanket on top and a closed, enclosed window like this, it's, it's pretty decent, pretty much decent. But of course, if you have heating inside of your room, it's better. So when I had this, it was standing there. It was, I just kept the door you know, open and the whole RV was perfectly heated with this one silent convection heater amazing i mean this is an amazing find everything here kind of connects and the last thing i bought because there's a there's a ladder we got ladders right everybody got a ladder on their, on their uh, rv but i got i got you know what i got you know what i got i got those relax collapsible uh that is you see how much room i got in here yes i can put everything see those collapsible yeah 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 so that's pretty much the, the hookup. Uh, an advantage, I, I think, compared to all the RVs that I've seen, is that I know expert, but this comes inside and doesn't leak, right? Doesn't leak, this is a good thing. And keeps it warm, right? And if you want to keep um, keep that hose warm, you can use its 120 here. Plug your, uh, your uh, hot wire. You can plug a hot wire and bring it all the way to your water hose. I mean, this we ain't messing around. You need you need two of those there. You need two sewers. Anyways, I'm not doing a freaking RV freaking. But I'm just telling you, these little things are pretty cool with new RVs. Like, like look, we got a ladder. We got a ladder. Three points of contact. Okay. You noisy little motherfuckers. <laughs> See. Amazing generator, this. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is amazing. Then it was on special too. Pretty cool. That's where I bought it. Yeah. Uh, you need this. You absolutely need this. That's what the the RV control, basically uh, electric panel is made for. Forty six hundred fifty, pretty much. So that's pretty much it.